I started cooking when I was in elementary school. Um, one, of, one of the things that I loved to do was take a, a cookbook out of the library at school and bring it home and convince my folks that I should cook them dinner. And usually that was a disaster. Um, but I always loved it. I always loved being in the kitchen and um, I loved the instant gratification of cooking and the reward of, of feeding people good food. I don't know if I have a go-to food aside from ice cream. <laughs> I mean, I'll go for like a pint of ice cream any day of the week, um, winter, summer, spring, fall. Um, but aside from that, uh, I really, I do really love to eat stuff that's in season. There is a really good burger stand called Dilly's, which is right on the Delaware River, and it's a couple miles from my house. And so when I'm hungry and I don't feel like cooking, I go and I get a cheeseburger. The book is called The Farm. Uh, it is about my family's farm that's in Ch uh, Chester County, Pennsylvania. It's been in the family for literally hundreds of years, and that's a rare thing in this country. Um, it used to be 3,000 acres, and it's been whittled down over the generations to 40 acres. Uh, but we still own it together as a family, and we still share it together as a family. And we have a, gar a vegetable garden there, and honeybees, and fruit trees, and we really just grow our food for ourselves. Um, and so this is a, a really labor-intensive way to eat and cook, but it is so much better than any other food that you can get out there, and this is the way that we've always done it. And so the, the book is about the stories of my family and my grandmother and my grandfather and my parents and my, all my cousins. I have 24 cousins on that side, and their sons and daughters, and how we all come together at the farm and work together and then cook together and then eat together.